Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to make your golf swing ridiculously simple. I want to talk about a feeling that's going to help you post impact. Get more rotation, get through the golf ball. And this is something that I've been told a long time ago and it has really resonated with me because it gives me a good feeling. With my irons of hitting down on the ball, with my driver of getting width, and all this does is breed better clubbed speed, better strike, and that big word, consistency. I want to feel a foot after the golf ball, so roughly around this area here, I've got that club head as far away from me as possible. Because if I show you these two scenarios, if I was to scoop it, the club head would be getting closer. The drive with the hands not really move the body, the club head is still closer to me. The only way you can get this right is by feeling rotation with arms and body working together because that is as far as I can get that club head away from my body. So we're storing power, we're unloading power onto the golf ball. Okay, building this into your golf swing couldn't be any simpler. I want you to do a four golf ball set. Now, we're on about Trading Tuesday here. So this is simple things we can do to train for better golf. So I want you to use this feeling whilst hitting four different shots. Four golf balls, and I want you to use this setup here. Feet line, start line, goal. Yellow is to make sure we've got good alignment relative to our start line. This gives us a great visual for the blue on the ground to give us a good feeling of where the ball wants to start. And these two offer some great feedback because if we can start it through here, we can control our start line through here. We're not only controlling that feeling of being as far away and rotated through impact, but also, if you can start it through a small goal like that, you have got so much control of your face and path. So even if you're hitting into a net, I know in the UK tomorrow we will be back out on the golf course, but it's still a great drill you can do from home and out on the golf course too. So training harder than you play is the motto in today's YouTube video. So four golf balls, we're gonna go low fade, high fade, low draw, high draw. Now, whether you can play them or not is not actually the answer to this. What we want to do is what feeling gives you the best outcome. So the feeling of this in a low draw or the feeling of this in a high draw or the feeling of this in a low fade or the feeling of this in a high fade. What feeling gives you the best outcome in terms of start line control, in terms of the ball striking on the club face and getting through towards target. Time to put myself to the test. Feel a bit of pressure here. Eh? Right. I'm gonna go low fade to begin with. Uno. One. And now I'm letting a shot dictate the feeling, but all I know I'm trying to work towards subconsciously is that club head as far away from you as possible. It is so ridiculously simple, I can't tell you. You need to try it, honestly. Now on to the high fade. Again, working through those gates. Feel the shot, remind yourself of the feeling as you notice that I'm doing this, I'm doing it all as a unit together. And a nice way to feel this without a golf club in your hand is palms to the ground, feel the rotation, and this would be where we'd want to be. Remind yourself, pull the trigger on the high fade. Two shots I know I'm not quite so good at. The low draw, well, I'm good at a low snap hook. Um, the low draw, and the high draw. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to work to a feeling to give you the nicest shot. So if you're a slicer, you probably the draw one's gonna give you a better feeling of neutral. Right, gonna go low to begin with. Oh, that was ripped. I wasn't expecting a strike like that. Okay. The high Rory McElroy draw. God, we all wish we could like him, don't we? There we go, I'm gonna put all the beans into this one. Started that a little bit too right. But one the good thing about that is, if I'm trying to draw it, the alignment stick that I'd want to take out is that right alignment stick. If I was trying to draw it and take out the left alignment stick, that tells me I've not quite got good control of my path. So in essence, if we take out the left alignment stick and we're fading it, it's not a bad scenario because we're learning to get our path left and our face just open to our path and vice versa with the draw. If we're right-handed and we take out the right alignment stick, we know we're actually starting the ball right of target, which in essence is what we want to do with the draw. 
Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do hit that thumbs up button. It helps me and it also it helps me know that you're enjoying the content. Now, in the UK, we are allowed to go back and play golf with one member outside of our family. For me, I don't know if I'm gonna be back at work yet teaching. I'm still waiting to hear back from Watcham Hall. But if you're managing to get out tomorrow or this weekend, comment down below exactly where you're playing. I'd love to know, one, if you're playing, and obviously where, that, where you're playing. I know a lot of my friends have been trying to book tea times and it's absolutely mobbed. Every person who plays golf is trying to get out on the golf course. So are we gonna be able to get out? Um, I hope so, and how they're gonna do that, I don't know. I think golf clubs have got a dilemma on their hands, but I also think there's something good we can take of this. I think a lot more people are gonna take up our beautiful game of golf because you can do it safely, you can socially distance, and hopefully they find it just as fun as we do. Thank you for watching, and before you leave, that red button down below, the subscribe one, make sure you hit it.